Hey, my name is Denise and today we are doing a video on what to do in Palmerston North. There's not a ton of stuff and Palmerston North is usually a bit of a boring type of town and I, I don't, yes, <laughs> it is. But today we're doing 35 plus things to do in Palmerston North. There's lots of stuff to do, it's especially in the center of town, in the square. You can go around the square, that's a fun thing to do. You could go to the race course, you can go to the plaza, and there's lots of fun stuff to do at the plaza, such as eat, shop, you know, go to farmers, macers, tons of other stuff. Look at the shops, look at the tech, look at the stuff you can't afford, all fun stuff to do. Another thing to do at the square is get attacked by a group of horrors. Very, very common occurrence. So always be expecting to at least get attacked once or twice a week. Slightly outside of Palmerston North is the beautiful Gorge Walk. In the Gorge Walk, there's so much to look at, so much to do, because it's so just beautiful. We live in a really, really beautiful place. So that's a fun thing to do, to look around and so on, and I love it. You can go to the Esplanade. The Esplanade's always fun, nice parks, nice view, you can go to the river, you can go by the river, you can do whatever you want, you can go biking, you can, now you can rent, or not rent, but you can get an electric scooter with flamingo, lime, beam, and so on, or you could bring your own scooter, or bike, and so on, it's great, I think for everyone, I think everyone likes it, and yeah, scootering around the city is just fun in general, since it's now in Palmerston, it's so exciting. You can go to the warehouse, but you get to be escorted because of a bomb threat. How fun is that? Isn't that just insane? You can go to the best place in the world named Longburn. Longburn is an awesome place with so many beautiful sights and so many beautiful people. I love Longburn and I think you will as well. A quick two, three minute drive out of party and you're there. Hope you have fun and I hope you stay for a long time. You will never leave Longburn. It's not a place you can leave. Once you're in Longburn, you can never, ever, ever get out. You can go to Genghis or Genghis, I think it's Genghis, um, Mongolian incredible food. Buffet? Oh, I love it. I haven't been in a while, but I love it, and you will as well. You could go to the beach and have a tangy. Not Foxen. Foxen's trash. And plus, the blue bottles. The little blue jelly fit. No one likes those at all. You could go to the Lido. The Lido is tons of fun. Is the cinema. You can, you know, watch movies. You know what a cinema is. I hope. You can go to the library, but why would you want to? There's not much or anything to do there except book 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 you could steal from shops you can steal a car and then you can go to the district court after stealing that car that is a fun activity and following that guess what you get to go to Manawatu prison how fun is that how fun is that after you're released from prison you can go to wet pits Wet Pets is a store where they sell animals and oh it's great. You get to see all the animals, you get to you know buy your equipment and so on. I like it. It's a bit out of town, it's all not out of town, it's like the edge of town. But yeah. You, and you can go to Memorial Park. Memorial Park has had this amazing new upgrade. And oh it looks just incredible. It's way better now, it had tons of work put into it. I think you should go there. I think I'm putting up some photos in there. But you should definitely go there with your small for little kids. But it's cool. You can go see stock cars if you're a really cool guy. You can go see stock cars. You can go to Harvey Norman and get absolutely robbed. Your wallet will be absolutely empty by, by the end of the day. You will have so much money missing that the bank will call you and find out what is going on. No, I shopped at Harvey Norman. This was your mistake. 
If you don't want that, you can go to JD High Five and get stuff that's the same and cheaper. You can go to farmers and get clothing, little kids' toys and Legos, appliances, home stuff, you know, what farmers is, you know, your perfume and so on. That's, you know, that's there. It's not too special, but it's there. Oh my gosh, the best place ever, Hongwei Market. is so good. I love it. They sell these Chinese goods and they sell these incredible sunflower seeds, which are edible, you know, because you can eat them. All, like, most of Asia and Russia and, like, the Middle East eat sunflower seeds. Oh, they're the best. So good. If you're a little kid and you have nothing else to do, you could be taken to Cloud Nine, Trampoline Park. If you're a little kid, you can go to Lollipop's Playland. No one goes there really that much anymore, but I'm assuming the stuff still is working and I'm assuming it's still there. Hopefully it hasn't gone out of business just yet. Bowlerama. Bowlerama is a bowling ring. It's alright. You can go to Orlando Country and have a meal, play some golf, have some event, go to an event, you know. Whatever you do there, I don't, I don't, I don't go there very often, but that is an option. And last of all, the youth space. Youth space is this bit, and this is like this building in town where you know kids, teenagers, and so on go, and they, I don't know, play PlayStation or play table tennis or whatever is there. I don't go there. I have stuff to do. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't take and record the outro, but I'm here now, and I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. It got a bit boring in parts, but it's past the north. I put a lot of effort, and this video was supposed to be uploaded like days ago, but I finally got to it, and here you are. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.